All right, as I mentioned before, Diatone includes one of these 3.3 step-down regulators with the Crusader GT2. Now what I've got here is the Fury F3 flight board all, all by itself, just to make this easy. But unfortunately on this first batch, they have the wires in the wrong spot on this. So you can do one of two things. One, you can cut the wires off and just resolder them on the bottom in their appropriate spots. But if you're gonna do that, you could just resolder the jumper and that's gonna be kind of messy because you'd have to take the whole kit apart. Or what we can do, we're just gonna pop out the wires. So I've got, you need an X-Acto knife, and then your little plug. And you see these little plastic tabs? It's gonna bend them up. You can do one at a time or whatever. You bend them up, and then you just pull these out. Voila. Okay, so I've got these two to go. Now you wanna be careful not to break them off. Okay. So this, this isn't really hard. I mean, it's a lot easier than soldering for some people. Now we just have a connector. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is push these back down so that they'll lock on the pins when I put them back in. Now here's our connect, so this is what I do. Okay, this is where it's going back into this one. So the holes go on the top. Holes go on the top, okay? So you can see right here what we've got, ground, Five volts PPM S bus. You don't have to put all the wires in, just the ones you need. Sorry, put my camera. So, ground is first, so we grab a ground, and you're looking for uh, that way. You see the little tab sticking up on the top? That's what you want. You're going to put that into the bottom and push it in, and it'll lock. Okay, so here we go, we pushed it in, and then you push the little plastic piece down, and I'll lock it in. Ta-da! Okay, so the next one was positive. So again, look for that little hook. I don't know, these are tiny, so see that little hook? That's going to go in the side where you can see the little, where we just moved the plastic pieces. Push it in, and push down. Look for the little tab, go in here and push this up. Push it in. Ta-da! There you go. Now, check your work. Holes go on the top. All right, holes go on the top. And it says, ground, five volt, PPM, S-Bus. So ground, five volt, that works, and S-Bus. So now, you've got these wires that you just hook to your spectrum receiver. So now we're gonna connect everything together. I've got it drawn here, so hopefully this will be more clear. We have our flight controller with the red and black wire going to our regulator. The white wire from the S bus coming off the flight controller. From the regulator, you've got a red and black wire coming off of that. Over here is our spectrum receiver. We've got an orange, a black, and a gray wire. The orange is the positive, the black is the negative, the gray is the signal. So now what you're going to do is just solder these together. So the red wire off the regulator goes to the orange wire off your receiver. The black wire off the regulator, which is negative, is going to go to the black wire off the receiver. That's negative. And then the signal wire off the flight controller is going to go to the signal wire off the receiver. And that's how you're going to wire it. And then you're going to go into beta flight um, on the ports tab on three, you are at three, set uh, the serial check mark. Above this it says serial receiver. Save. And then you're going to go into the config tab. Receiver type is serial. Oops. Serial. And then on the drop down, you want spectrum. Twenty forty eight. Save. And that's all you need to do.
Now what I would do is put a little dab of hot glue behind this connector so that it's held onto the board a little stronger. It's right back here. And maybe even a little a dab of hot glue right here so these connectors are held into this connector as well. But that's how you wire up a Spectrum receiver for the Diatone Fury F3. Now the other way you can do it if you're just using the board, you flip it over and right here, like if you just bought the board you don't get this. You only get this regulator if you bought the, the ship, the GT200 or 175. So right here is 3.3 volts, then there's a middle tab and then 5 volts. So what you do is you desolder the jumper that's connecting 5 volts and 3 volt, or the center one, the 5 volt and the center one, to make sure there's a gap there. Then you solder together the 3.3 volt in the middle one, and now this right here will be 3.3 volts, and you can just directly connect your spectrum receiver.